Hi there, on this channel we make, create and design all different types of things for the home and garden. Today we're going to be looking at some mid-century dining chairs that need a little bit of a makeover. And here are the leather chairs. As you can see, the first chair is not going to be able to be repaired properly, so I've got to remove the leather and do this chair fully. Um, that will be in another film, I'll show you how I do that, how I take it apart and put the leather on. In this film I want to show you how I'm going to treat these leather chairs so that I can bring them back up so they look really like new again. Uh, this chair I've already done, I've tried all my products out and I'm going to show you all the products I use for it in a minute. And the other four chairs I'm going to treat exactly the same as this chair so that they all look sparkling new. Here's a close up of the chair that I've already done. So you can see it's all back black again, nice and shiny. It's been treated with all different sorts of waxes. Here's one of the chairs that need doing. As you can see, the colour's gone. And once I start to wash these chairs, they will become even more dye will come out. So I need to treat all the areas so that we can get it back black. You can see along the edge here where it's all got wear and tear on it. There's also a few cracks, but once we start to put some cream on it, it will start coming back to life again. And here are the products I want to use. First of all, I've got a saddle soap. They're all products that I've brought from um, a horse shop um, because of saddles, they all need uh, good leather caring equipment and I find that they're very good. So this is a leather soap. There's a sponge in there. This just needs to be dampened and this is what I wash the chairs with, first of all. Once I've washed them, I have to allow them to dry. Then I use this leather dye. This is the first time I've actually tried this leather dye out. It works quite good. Every other piece of leather furniture that I've had up to now, I've been able to do with this leather care, also from the horse shop. This is black because most of the furniture hasn't lost the dye as much as what these chairs have. But this was really good. I liked it. Once that's then dried, you have to then um, put a bit of cream on top of all the chairs. And I'm going to use some beeswax. Um, also for saddle care, it says on it it's waterproof and it stops dust collecting, which dust collecting is just brilliant when it doesn't dust collect. So here we have it, um, some beeswax that goes on top and I put this on three or four times because the leather is so dry, it just soaked it up. Um, and I'll show you how to put that on as well. Of course, I need some cloths and I need some sponges and to put the dye on is you need some gloves. So here's the saddle soap that I'm going to use. I've already wet my sponge, which I've put in here. And I'm just going to rub this all over the chair and give the leather a good old clean. Now that they're dry, I'm going to add the dye. The dye is quite liquidy, so I have to be careful how to put it on my cloth. And I'm just going to dab it on, on the edges, first of all. And because I'm doing it in the sun at the moment, it will dry quite quick. I'll just dab it along, along here. And you should slowly be able to see a change. And then, I'm going to go over the whole of the chair and slowly rub a bit in. As you can see now, it's dry and everything's nice and black again. Occasionally you can see the marks of the where I've applied it, but that doesn't matter because you won't see it anymore once I've applied um, the cream that's going on. This is a, a beeswax leather cream, also used on saddles, which I'm just going to apply now to the whole of the surface. And I'm going to apply, I want to seal the dye. I'm going to apply at least two or three lots. I have to let it soak in and then have another go and another go bit time consuming but only that way will I get the best effects and also the leather will also have a good covering on top so that you don't get any of that dye on your clothes when you sweat. 
I've now finished all the leather services. I'll show you them at the end of the film, so stay to the end to see that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat the chair legs. I'm just going to take a damp cloth and give everything a good wipe over, first of all. And once I've finished doing that, I've then got some teak oil that I'm going to use and I'm going to rub teak oil in on all the wooden surfaces. And here are the five chairs, all done now. All that I have to occasionally do is give the leather a good buff, clean them up again, polish them up, put on a little bit of uh, beeswax occasionally. I'll give you a close-up of what the leather looks like. And other than that, I'll see you in a couple of weeks time for the next Sepp and Shelley DIY. Thank you for watching. Ciao, ciao.